the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. We're on the cusp of kickoff. Really looking forward to this one, Lee. Well, night games, European football, where does it get any better? Well, it does if you're in the final, but with finals, they're horrible if you lose. Make sure you win if you get here. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Harry Maguire plays alongside Victor Lindelof in central defence. And the striker today, Edinson Cavani. Mkhitaryan. And they continue to advance. And a lot of options here. And clears his lines. Karsdorp. Now Vertu. And space to cross it. Vertu. Pellegrini. They really look after the ball when they have it. Well, thumped clear. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. Cavani. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Better two. Gonzalo Villa. Jekko. Mkhitaryan Dzeko They've lost it Greenwood On to Juan Bissaka Cavani Promising looking attack from Cavani What can he do? Fred McTominay Here's Cavani. Well read to ease the pressure. Keeping possession of the ball with authority. Pellegrini. Dzeko. Really good challenge. Failed to keep hold of it. No problems for the keeper. Derek, the stats tell you everything. Neither side has really had any quality at all in the final third. The final pass has always seemed to be off, lacking in composure. Hopefully it picks up. And teammates to play it to. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Lost possession. Ball's gone. Juan Bisaka. Oh, great vision. And failed to keep himself onside, unfortunately. Jekko. Spinazzola. Options in the centre. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. And that is that for the first half of this UEFA Europa League final. I think, Lee, we're entitled to expect more appetising fare in the second half. Well, we're entitled to our money back. That's been absolutely horrible. Really not enjoyed that at all. Let's hope the second half...
provides a little bit more entertainment, a bit more incident and a bit of desire and passion. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Cavani end towards Marcus Rashford. Rashford. Shaw. Here's Cavani. Wonderful tackle. And there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. Can they take advantage of the situation? Can he play it in? And they deal with the threat this time. Vertu. Now Vertu. Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Rashford. Bruno Fernandes. Moving the ball nicely, looking for that final pass. Well, the header didn't exactly go to plan. Well, I'm not sure what he did there when he caught it on the top of his head, but whatever he did, it was a poor attempt. Vertu. And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Dzeko moving into the advanced position. Throw in to Manchester United. Given away by Manchester United. Pellegrini. Vertu. Really good challenge. Scott McTominay. Edinson Cavani now. Bruno Fernandes. And able to close down the shots. Well, as you can see from the possession, there's little between these two teams. It's been a real tight, cagey affair. We just hope it opens up a little that one of these teams is willing to take a few risks. Here's a change for Manchester United. Cavani on to Matic gives us a go and with that they take the lead well just look at the celebrations Derek the fans are starting to believe it's theirs ah, Derek it's like the manager scored he's one of the players all of a sudden great stuff As we can see, right place at the right time. Striker's instinct is to be there or thereabouts. Keeper has no chance. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Fred. Matic on the ball. Well, they couldn't keep possession.
And United will switch things around personnel wise. Bruno Fernandes. Rashford. Shaw. And Rashford. Van der Beek. A chance to whip it in. Shaw. Jekko. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Not getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Had a two. Now Jekko. How about the cross? Better two. Bruno Perez. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. And a long way out here. It could be up for grabs. And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. Disappointment on one side. But sheer jubilation on the other. And my goodness, Lee, they deserve it. Absolutely deserve it. They were running the clock down at the end. The referee obliged and blew his whistle. And quite rightly so. They're now on the halfway line.